they did say they are coming back. Important to note. Now, let's get into some financials. That's always exciting, right? Microsoft releasing posted its financials for its second quarter. And with that, of course, we get a peek into the earnings for Xbox. As a whole for that quarter, not, now the company does not share revenues for each division as stated by Games Industry Shop Biz, which is where I got the numbers from. Um, now, with the revenue of Microsoft reported, that revenue is a $52.7 billion. Um, that is uh, up 25% year on year. Net income of $16.4 billion. That is down 12%. Um, now on to the gaming division and personal computing, which includes Xbox and their revenues, 14.2 million. This is down 19%. The gaming revenue is down 13%, but they did not provide a specific number. Xbox content and services revenue is down 12%, with hardware revenue down 13% as well. But the CEO of Microsoft, Satya Nadella, told investors on the earnings call that they saw, quote, new highs for Xbox Game Pass subscriptions, game streaming hours, and monthly active devices, end quote. Important to note, upon reading, I found uh, Satya stated the following, quote, the next major wave of computing is being born as Microsoft Cloud turns the world's most advanced AI models in a computing platform. We're committed to helping our cus uh, customers use our platforms and tools to do more with less today and innovate for the future in a new era of AI, end quote. Wow. Okay. Where do I start? Let's start with money. Uh, what makes the work go around now less than stellar uh <laughs> revenue pitchings right they're down in every w which of the word i'm shocked that they're down oh wait no i'm not because they didn't release anything last year right uh, they didn't really they couldn't really or at least had trouble incentivizing people to come by the system right and i think this is still a bit of the covid falling down uh, but i i do think this is pretty much entirely a photo of xbox here as they just didn't have anything to buy last year, right? Well, what was your reason to buy an Xbox, right? They're seeing more active users, which is good for them. They did have a recent push into Game Pass on PC, which is, I imagine, where they're getting a lot of their um, quote-unquote new uh, monthly active users from. But I would like to reiterate, it does seem like people just aren't buying things. Shocking, as Game Pass is easily a thing that you would just buy and then not buy other things. I've already stated that we see in the even in the games industry, let alone regular people, that people are almost complaining when games aren't on Game Pass. Um, it's important to know a lot of these people get games for free anyway, so I can't imagine what the problem is. But I would like to add that a lot of these people pointing these things out, and and I I get almost scared where I'm like, and that doesn't work that way. We have to still support a lot of these games. That's where we're, even if th some things come on Game Pass, I do at least try to still buy them um, sometimes when I can afford it, as uh, I still still want the dollar to go a long way. I'm sorry, like Game Pass is just not going to sustain a lot of these games. Um, I know some people argue that if you like get everything in a bucket and put it together, like Microsoft as a whole is making more money with Game Pass than without it. That might be true. I don't know. I doubt it. I don't. I just don't see it on paper. It, I mean, it's clear. Look how hard they're trying to hide how much Xbox probably isn't making money, right? If it was making a good bit of money, you you wouldn't have to know. You wouldn't have to like think about how much money they made uh, to piece out how much, right? They would tell you. They would be like, "Look how much money." So clearly, they had a down year. I'm curious if that was one of the worst years they've had in a while. Because again, they aren't releasing anything. They they made this system. They don't have any games releasing on it. They're having issues getting people, I am assuming, to be interested in it outside of Game Pass into actually, once they buy the system, which again, they probably aren't even making money on to begin with. They probably aren't making any money on the Series X when you buy it. They probably might be losing money. They might be losing like 10 to 20 bucks, depending on how the um, economy is working at that moment. <clears throat> or at least what year we're talking about. So it's hard to justify these things, right? It's hard to say like, oh yeah, we're down this and this and this. Uh, and also we're not making money on the system we're selling. So like, and also we're not making money on Game Pass because a lot of people only upgraded for a dollar and we're still working through the people that uh, had like back paid subscriptions like that that we had to like combine everything in. So curious what the end game is. I would love to ask Phil that. I would love to ask like, what is... Like you're not, they they're not stupid. There, they know they would have trouble 
leading into this year. Now, I do think they would they thought by 2023 they would have more games out. And also, I think they would they wouldn't think that Halo would have immediately fallen off a literal cliff or at least proverbial cliff in terms of usage and Game Pass and, and how many people are playing the game and monetization, blah, 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 you know, all of these things. So I imagine even Phil is probably, uh, uh, which, of course, CEO of Xbox Gaming over there, even Phil probably is sitting there like, ah, I did not really think it would take this long. Clearly, someone's at fault for that happening. I don't know who it is. Is it Matt Booty, which is I'm, I'm pretty sure he's still still there. Um, is it Phil? Is it? Is it no one's fault? Is it everyone's collectively fault? I don't I don't know, but Microsoft's uh I mean look, Microsoft can definitely bleed the money. They don't care. It's not really the issue. The issue is w- w- what if this is still happening in a couple years and someone like Satya is not there? Clearly he loves gaming. Um he, uh not to uh bring up his son because he unfortunately passed away but um his son is a lot of the reason why a lot of accessibility things are made so clearly he he was close to gaming as his son i, I believe um enjoy gaming a lot even though he he was um not able to play a lot of games that's why uh he was really behind the um accessibility control that xbox made because that was something that his son could use but um uh important to note that none of this looks good now We'll have to see if Redfall, Starfield, Forza Motorsport, um, Hi-Fi, right? Like, let's see if that starts re-energizing people. I think Starfield is going to sell systems. Is it going to be enough? We'll have to see. Very excited. Exciting times. Now, Hogwarts Legacy. We don't talk about that enough, right? Now, It's been a long time since we've really discussed the J.K. Rowling discussion that's happening around this game. It's almost like a nuclear bomb or some sort of active bomb that you have to almost like slowly dismantle as you're talking about it. Because like if you say something wrong, someone somewhere will be mad at you for something. So I'm going to first. hmm, I will read the story that I wrote up and then I'm going to read you um, a very good article from Glamour that I found. So let's do that. J.K. Rowling and the Hogwarts Legacy Debate. That's why I titled it. Avalanche 